Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Edmond Medaros and for today's quick tutorial and I'm going to show you guys on how to resolve if you're coming across an issue on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer where upon logging into your device you're noticing a white screen with a cursor or you're just browsing your computer noticing that everything disappeared. So, ganito yung makikita mo na white screen kung paano ba natin ito i-fix. And without further ado, and let's go ahead. So, all you have to do is to right-click on a taskbar. So, dito sa ating taskbar, I can now mag right-click. And then, sinik mo lang dito yung task manager. And then, dito sa processes tab. So, ang next step, can now mo lang inlocate dito yung Windows Explorer. Or dito sa taas, pwede mo i-search. So, type mo lang dito, Windows Explorer and then makikita mo kaagad dito so kailangan mo lang isinik yan and then kailangan mo lang mag right click and then next I click mo lang dito yung end task okay so once na click mo na tong end task so ang next step dito lang ulit sa processes dito sa taas kailangan mo lang i-click tong run your task and then dito sa create new task and then dito lang sa box kailangan mo lang itap dito yung explorer.exe and then, click mo lang dito yung box na create this task with administrative privilege. So, i-check mo lang yan. And then, click mo lang dito yung OK. So, once na-click mo na itong OK, so, ang next step, so, close lang natin itong task manager. And then, dito lang ulit sa search menu, click mo lang yan. And then, dito sa search for app, so, kaya naman mo lang i-type dito yung registry editor. And then, kaya naman mo lang mag-right click. And then, select mo lang dito yung run as administrator. If you receive your star account control, and then click mo lang dito yung else. So, before you proceed in the registry, I will suggest you to create a backup file. So, if anything go wrong, you could easily restore it back in order to create a backup. It's very simple. All you have to do is to select yung file dito sa taas. And then, kailangan mo lang isinect dito yung export. And then, pop up itong export registry file. So, ang next step, kailangan mo lang isinik dito kung saan mo isisib yung file. And then, I will suggest and recommend to create file name must be with a date. So, kailangan mo lang nagyan ng date and then click mo lang dito yung same. And then, and if you needed to import it back, so same procedure. All you have to do is to select yung file dito sa taas. And then, sinik mo lang dito yung import. And then, pop up itong import registry file. So, ang next step, kailangan mo lang inocate dito kung saan mo sinib yung file. And then, click mo lang dito yung open. Alright, so, proceed na tayo. So, ang next step, so, kailangan mo lang sinib dito yung HK local machines. So, kailangan mo lang mag-double click. And then, dito sa HK local machines. So, ang next step, sinib mo lang dito yung software. So, kailangan mo ulit mag-double click. And then dito sa software, ang next step ay kailangan mo nang isinect dito yung Microsoft. Okay, so dito sa Microsoft, double click on it. And then dito sa Microsoft, ang next step ay ilocate lang natin dito yung Windows NT. Ito siya. So dito kailangan mo ulit mag double click. And then dito sa Windows NT, sinect mo nang dito yung current versions. So double click on it. And then dito sa current versions, ang next step ay ilocate natin yung Windows or when log on okay and then ito siya so isinik mo lang dito yung when log on so dito ka lang mo ulit mag double click and then dito sa when log on so ang next step ay sinik mo lang dito yung shell ito siya so i-click mo lang tong shell and then once na sinik mo na siya and then dito lang sa blank space so ka lang mo lang mag right click and then sinik dito yung yo and k and then sinik mo lang dito yung d word 32 bit value and then dito sa new value, ay kailangan lang natin yan i-rename. So, i-rename natin, lagyan natin lang na explorer that e Okay, pay and then press mo lang yung enter. So, once nila rename mo na siya, so double click ka lang. And then pop up itong edit, the word 32 bit value. So, yung value name na explorer dot exe. And then yung value data must be zero. And then yung base kailangan na kahit sa decimal and then click mo lang dito yung OK. So, after dito, so, ang next step, so, press lang natin. And then, dito lang sa start menu and then, kailangan lang natin mag-restart. Okay? So, click mo lang yan. 
Alright, so we're going to focus simply on how to fix widescreen on Windows 10 or Windows 11 laptop or PC. And please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel for more quality content. Thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial.